Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a very quick review of the Wu-Ting 60 HE. I'm really just going to be talking about the performance. Has it made me a better player? And overall, do I think it's worth buying this over something like making a custom keyboard or the Apex Pro Mini? Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is the premium feel it comes with. Definitely has a better feel out of the box than something like a Razer keyboard or any of the Steel Series keyboards. The switches feel really good. The the stabilizers feel very good. There's no rattle when you shake it. It just feels like an overall pretty premium out of the box keyboard. It does not feel as good as something like a custom keyboard in terms of the switches, the stabilizers the case it's a plastic case you know um, but it's about as premium of a plastic case as you can get it does not however have foot stands which i could see being an issue for some people but i think one of the selling points of this keyboard is that you can actually take the pcb out of this case and put it into a different 60 percent keyboard if it will fit um so i think that's really one of the one of the coolest parts about this keyboard is that you can mod it to a certain degree the only thing you're not going to be able to mod is of course the pcb because you need that if you want the utility features but you also can't mod the switches you have to keep the same switches on which is kind of unfortunate but honestly they're very good switches compared to other name brand keyboard switches and personally i don't really have any issue with them i think they're good i think they're great for typing i don't think they're the best for typing but for gaming purposes they're not very loud they're, they're satisfying and to me they are above average for sure um so yeah let's go ahead and talk about do i think this keyboard is actually worth it so at 100 what is it 179.99 um the price point is pretty pricey for a pre-built keyboard but with the features that you're getting out of it i think it's 100 worth it i think this keyboard is a little bit better than the apex pro mini mostly because of how premium it feels everything about this keyboard feels better than the apex pro um, the apex pro kind of feels a little bit cheaper it's a little bit more rattly the switches don't feel as good but you're getting most of the same features so if you really just want a keyboard now the apex pro might be the way to go but overall i think it it's worth the wait for the build time and the shipping time for the wu-ting i'm definitely very happy with it i've used both keyboards extensively um, i've used this keyboard for about two months now and i used the apex pro mini for i think four or five months so i can definitely say i prefer this over the apex pro mini but is there a massive difference? I wouldn't say so in terms of performance, but in terms of quality, absolutely. Especially with the fact that you can customize it. If you're not interested in customization and you're kind of worried about the foot stands, if this keyboard sits high enough or whatever, the Apex Pro is probably going to be a better option for you. But other than that, I think the Wooting Wu is better in every other category. So let's talk about, has this keyboard actually made me a better player? And I don't necessarily think that it, made me better right away i do think however it's provided me with the tools to improve at a faster rate i, I don't think keyboard a keyboard is necessarily going to make you better or worse at the game obviously this keyboard is known for super gliding but i think the main selling point for this keyboard honestly should be for apex legends anyways it should be lurching lurching is absolutely incredible with this keyboard it doesn't necessarily like i like i was saying it doesn't make me better at it but has helped me improve at it at a much faster rate because of the very quick response time with the actuation points on the switches all right so let's go ahead and get into the utility app right off the bat i think the coolest feature here is the fact that you can download other people's profiles i have hollows for example i took his from his discord but they do have a massive database on the wu-ting uh site that has everyone that has ever uploaded their profile code on there so you can really just go through that and find settings that are a good starting point for you if you don't really know where to start or if you're not playing apex my settings are pretty pretty based off of apex legends so these settings might not work best for you if you're playing like rainbow rainbow six or something um but anyways let's go ahead and get into this so color settings i'm not really going to talk talk about too much because i have tacky on mode so basically i can only use the presets or just have a base color and i just prefer having it on pink or yellow or something but this is really the selling point of the keyboard is the performance section so my actuation point is set to 1.0 if you don't know what actuation point is that's basically just how far you have to press down on each individual key before it activates you can set it for the entire keyboard or you can customize it as well which i have um done here so for WASD and E, I have at 0.1 and X, which is my weapon in spec, so I can spam my kunai shamelessly. Um, 
But for all of these, I have at point one, so I have the most responsiveness on them, um, which is really good for strafing and lurching and looting, of course, and getting into death boxes a little bit faster. Um, and then all the keys that I want to press, like that I need to press, but I don't want to accidentally press, for example, Q and Z, which are my tactical and alt, I have set to 2.0, so it's a little bit harder for me to accidentally press it. And then for left windows, I have at 4.0 because I do not want to accidentally press that at all um, because I do not want to tab out. For all the other key keys, um, I just have set at 1.0 except my crouch and spacebar. So spacebar is set to 1.4, crouch is set to 1.8, and this is what I found the best for super glide timing. Really the best way to start off is set your spacebar to a lower number than your crouch because that's basically guaranteeing that you're hitting jump before crouch and that's kind of how i figured it out um and i slowly started putting c farther and farther away to see what would get me the best timing i was pressing it i was pressing crouch too early most of the time i used the super glide trainer to figure that out um, which is a really good resource if you want to practice super gliding i'll put the link to that in the description it's just a website and you just basically press spacebar and crouch or control and crouch whatever 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 keys you use for jump and crouch you just press over and over again to get the timing down um it's su super good tool and it helped me find my super glide settings very quickly so rapid trigger i just have at 0. 0.4 i haven't really messed with this too much i had it on 1.0 for a long time but somebody recommended 0. 0.4 and honestly i don't really notice much of a difference i don't think i really utilize this feature um but something i did notice is I did take it off of shift and crouch for whatever reason rapid trigger on crouch was just messing me up a lot and rapid trigger on shift was messing me a lot up a lot I have a really bad habit of holding the shift key with my pinky and a lot of the times when I'm healing or something I'll lift my pinky up ever so slightly off of the shift key and then I'll press it down again which would activate shift again with rapid trigger on making me cancel my heals which was very annoying so I just took it off of that and then of course i have tachyon mode which is going to make your keyboard more responsive very important feature to have if you want to get this if for whatever reason this is grayed out not letting you turn it on it's most likely because you're not using the cable that they provided or the cable is damaged or you're just using one that doesn't have enough performance and yeah that's really all there is to it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and honestly overall would i recommend this keyboard absolutely I think this is a great keyboard and I think it is absolutely worth the wait. But if you don't want to wait, the Apex Pro Mini is also a very good option. I don't think it's as premium feeling, but you are going to get roughly the same performance. I do think the Wu-Ting, however, performs slightly better. But yeah, let's go ahead and end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like, drop a sub if you're new, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.